to the bonsai garden and it's a beautiful sunny day though a little bit blustery. They've always been very well packaged. Hello and welcome to the bonsai garden and it's a beautiful sunny day though a little bit blustery. Over the weekend I ordered a parcel online and it's going from Greenwood Bonsai and some of you who are regulars to the channel may already have seen some of my community posts where I've posted pictures of what this is but for those of you who haven't let's get to it let's open the box and let's have a look. Now this is an item where I really spoiled myself I'll give you a little bit more details once we get into the box and show you what it is. Right, it's well packaged. Uh, it's something which I ordered just at the weekend from Greenwood Bonsai on bonsai.co.uk and it has arrived very very quickly uh, it's an item which claims on the website to have a lead time of four to six weeks because they're handmade although occasionally they do have them in stock and uh, so i actually decided to treat myself for my birthday with this item uh, some of you may know that i have some books which are published on amazon which over the Christmas period it gave me a little bit of a windfall and so it's using that money largely that I've treated myself to this uh, it's actually for my birthday and because of the lead times of up to six weeks I wasn't actually expecting it to arrive until the middle of March but it's actually now arrived after only two days so happy days thank you very much to Corinne and his team at Greenwood Bonsai for dispatching this so quickly so happy early birthday to me now one thing I will say is when I've ordered from Greenwood Bonsai in the past uh, things have always been very well packaged, so there's lots of these little green packing nodules in there. So it turns out that it wasn't the wisest move to be unpacking this out in the garden while it's so blustery. First thing I need to do is get some of this packing foam. otherwise I'll be spending all afternoon fishing this out of the pond but whenever I've ordered anything from Greenwood Ponds in the past I've always found it's been very securely packaged against damage and this is certainly no different Bonsai soil scoops are also useful for getting packing firm so 
So I think what I'll do is I'll just lift this down onto the floor and actually lift it out of the box. There we go. And if you hadn't already guessed, it's one of the great wire caddies which Greenwood Bonsai sell. And this is going to allow me to tidy up and get myself a bit more organized in terms of my bonsai tools and certainly in terms of the spools of wire. So I think I'll be picking those uh, packing needles up from the garden and from various crevices for the next probably two weeks. So as you can see, it's a wire caddy. It's one of the wire caddies that are available from Greenwood Bonsai. And it's a scaled down version of the wire caddy that Corin himself uses apparently. So there are three different variations, I believe, on the website. There is a smaller version with a single hole drawer on the front for tools. You can see there. This is the larger Pro model and there's a Pro 6 which I think indicates the number of spools for wire and also there is a much bigger Pro 8 which holds 8 spools of wire and I think this will be more than sufficient for my uses. I think the one and one and a half mil gauges of wire practically useless anyway. I, I, I have reels and reels of them just clogging up my bonsai toolkit and uh, just being a bit of a nuisance so I don't imagine I'm going to be putting any on here. So what, what have we got? We've got a, a series of spools for your bonsai wire. We've got a tool drawer on the front so you can put your most important tools in there and the key thing about the Pro series as far as I can tell is that unlike the the other one this spool just lifts out and in fact you don't need any tools of any kind whatsoever to take this out and put spools of wire on so if i take one of the the reels from within there there is a screw effect and that just separates so i can put my spools of wire on there and within a matter of minutes i can put all of my wire onto here keep it organized job's a good one this is how I currently organise my wire. I've got a couple of these really useful storage crates with various bits and pieces in here. So I've got wire, what's left of various spools of wire. They said one millimetre just in ridiculous tangles in there. And I don't think I've ever used that for anything of any real value. And then I've got various ends of wire. So I'm going to get these onto the spools now and I'll show you that once I've finished. So that's all of my disorganized tangles of wire, all very much sorted and organized. And I'm now going to pop some tools in the drawer. And that looks like it's going to be a nifty piece of kit. Happy birthday to me. And thanks to all at Greenwood Bonsai. So if you're interested, take a look at their website. There are three different models on there. Have a look to see which one suits your particular needs. Thank you very much for watching, hope to see you in the next one.